It's Friday, October 30th here in Seoul. Hey everyone, it's Debbie from Korea Now with the headlines for today. Amid ongoing fears of a rebound in COVID-19 here in South Korea, the government has decided to resume its discount coupon program to boost domestic consumption. The program offers coupons in eight different areas in the culture and leisure sector, such as travel and dining out. It was suspended in mid-August due to a resurgence of the coronavirus, but the program officially resumed today. Meanwhile, South Korea added 114 new cases of COVID-19 on Friday, maintaining a triple-digit level for a third day. And with people getting ready to celebrate Halloween this weekend, health authorities advise people to refrain from going to crowded places like nightclubs and warn that the country could see a spike in daily cases if not careful. North Korea has blamed South Korea for the death of a South Korean fisheries official last month. On Friday, North Korea state media KCNA said the recent incident was the result of South Korea's improper control of a citizen in a sensitive area, and therefore it said South Korea is responsible for the man's death. The report also accused the conservative forces in the South, like the main opposition party, of using the incident to slander the regime. In another report, the KCNA slammed South Korea's top security adviser Seo Hoon over his recent comments that inter-Korean relations should be resolved through discussions with the U.S. and other countries. North Korea criticized his comments as absurd, saying they degrade the sacred inter-Korean relations to something subordinate of international relations. Seoul's Unification Ministry has decided not to comment on the report. South Korea's movie industry continues to suffer tremendous losses from the COVID-19 pandemic, both in production and consumption of films. This week, the Association of Korean Film Producers and Distributors held a forum to examine the current status of the local film industry. And it was revealed that the production of numerous films have been put on hold since this spring due to traveling restrictions amid the COVID-19 pandemic. These include Pogota starring Song Joong-gi, Dream starring Park Seo-joon and IU, and The Outlaws 2 starring Ma dong Seok. On the consumption side, the combined revenue for Korean movie theaters was down by over 70%, and the number of moviegoers also fell by some 70% in the first nine months of this year. And those are your top stories for today. For full-length articles, you can check out our official website, linked down below. As always, make sure to subscribe to Korea Now for more daily updates.